Hello, in this video we will demonstrate an experiment which is from IGCSE physics paper May June 2010. In this question, students are to investigate reflection from a plane mirror. They need to follow the instruction given in the question to successfully do this experiment. Measure 10 cm from the top of the sheet and mark the point. Draw a line through this point, name it as EF. Mark a point G approximately at the center of the line EF. Draw a line perpendicular to EF through G and label it as GH. Measure 30 degree from the normal. Draw a line and label it as GJ. Place this sheet on the pin board. Place the mirror so that it stands along the line EF. Push a pin P1 into the surface at a point on GJ close to mirror. Push another pin P2 into the surface on GJ some distance from the mirror. Make sure the distance between these two pins are more than 5 cm. Label these two points as A and B respectively. Next, view the image of pin P1 and P2 from the other side of the normal. The direction to view is indicated in the question paper. Push pin P3 and P4 into the surface between your eye and the mirror so that pin P3 and P4 and the images pin P1, P2 appear exactly in line. To make sure all the pins are in line, you have to view the base of the pin. This is important. Mark the point of pin P3 and P4 with letters C and D. Remove the pin and the mirror. Draw a line joining C and D that continues to meet the line EF. Mark the angle of reflection as R1. Measure this angle of reflection. Note it down in your answer sheet. Next, measure 10 degree from the line EGF. Draw a line E dash, G dash, F dash. Mark the angle as theta. Place the mirror so that it stands along the line E dash F dash. Push the pin P1 and P2 into the sheet at the same point A and B previously. View the reflection of these two pins and push another two pin P3 and P4 as before. Mark the new position of pin P3 and P4 as C dash and D dash. Remove the pin and mirror. Draw a line joining C dash D dash which continues to meet E dash F dash. Mark this angle as R2. Measure the angle and note it in the answer sheet. Next, calculate the angle alpha through which the reflected ray has moved. That is R2 minus R1. In our experiment, we got R2 51 degree and R1 33 degree. So the difference will be 18. Next step is to calculate the difference between 2 theta and alpha, which is 20 minus 18, which gives us 2 degree. This completes the observation part. Next, you have to give statement with respect to your observation and the theory. In this, the theory suggests that if I move the mirror through an angle theta, then the reflected ray will move through an angle to theta. But we got a difference of 2 degree. This is a small difference and in your statement, you can write that your result supports the theory. Your statement must be justified with your result. The small difference you got is due to the experimental error. This concludes our demo. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.